Hey, guess what, everybody? There is a new Miss Clue game. Miss Clue, Crew's Most Deadly. This one appears to be based on Nancy Drew number nine, Danger on Deception Island. I mean, just take a look at that picture. That That is definitely the cabin from that game. So let's get started. Dear Nixie, New Zealand is more beautiful than I even remembered. This is shaping up to be my year of endless summer. I can't say I miss the onset of winter cold, but I do want to have snow for Christmas. Evelyn, as always, is the perfect hostess. This week we had a chance to go to the sheep shearing competition at the Agricultural and Pastoral Show. It was amazing to see how quickly a sheep can be shorn, especially if you are one of the guns, which is what they call the best of the best at shearing. Evelyn's father has just taken delivery of the Wanderer, a two-masted catch which is a joy to sail. I have included a picture of her so that you can be jealous. With summer just getting underway, we have been sailing from one port to another along the New Zealand coast and have been on some of the most amazing beaches you have ever seen. The surfing is bodacious, and I wish you and Rad were here. You would love it. With all of this summer bliss, we do have one cloud on the horizon. Evelyn's brother Ron has been in Australia where he has been flying mail to the mines around Perth. But Evelyn hasn't heard from him in a few weeks and is starting to become concerned. Since we were planning to take the Wanderer out for her maiden voyage, we have decided to make Australia our destination. I'll write again as soon as we dock in Sydney. Until then, blue skies, blue waves, and white sails. Love, Jane. Okay, I I'm sorry. The, the water is bodacious. What? What? Oh, okay. So, uh, we're on this tiny little thing. It's not a cruise ship. And the name of the game is Cruise Most Deadly. So, y you'd think we would be on a cruise ship instead of a tiny little ship. Anyway, we're leaving New Zealand and going straight to Australia. Fantastic. I got this cut on my arm while we were taking the sails down. It doesn't look too bad. We'll have you fixed up as good as new in just a jiffy. Let me get the first aid kit. Okay, so uh, this first chapter is basically going to be exploring this boat, which I'm sorry it looks exactly like the one from Nancy Drew, <laughs> Danger on Deception Island. Okay, so first off, uh, we are just going to be getting the first aid kit which for some reason is hidden underneath some blankets. Just to make it hard to reach in case of an emergency, right? I know I always hide my first aid kit with the puzzle. Okay, so first aid kit and puzzle number two, helping out poor Evelyn. So first aid kit over here. The first thing we need to do is put some iodine on your cut. That will make sure it doesn't get infected. Okay, iodine over here. Mr. Smith's Mild Tincture Iodine. 46% alcohol. Okay. This may sting a bit, so get ready to blow. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> that means it's killing all the germs. Okay, let's see that cut so we can get a bandage on it. Okay, now we put on the bandage. Pretty simple puzzle. And we put on the adhesive strips. Here. I'll even make it personal for you. It will make you feel better. Oh, I'm gonna write on the wound, which seems kind of dangerous, actually. Now you're all better. Thank you so much. I do feel better. Okay, so, uh, yeah. So, um, now we've helped her out, and we get to have a conversation about, uh, sailing stuff. We've made good time the last four days. The winds have been almost perfect, and your father's new yacht is really fast. Yes, it's a shame that we've encountered this calm, but this will give us a chance to see how she goes under power. The engine started right up this morning, and it is certainly quiet. I'm not sure I'm steady enough to go back up on deck. What would you think about a game of checkers while I get my nerves in check? Uh, okay. Sure, just set up the checkerboard and I'll put up this first aid kit and be right back. Okay, apparently that wound is so awful she cannot go up these stairs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. Fine. Poor Evelyn. Like, 
guess she wounds easily. Um, so we put the first aid kit back underneath the blankets, of course, because like I said, we always have to hide the first aid kit. And the other areas, we've got this little kitchen area, which we'll be in momentarily, and then this area with the couch. I don't think we can get anything here. Yeah, nothing there. And anything here? Maybe that's for laundry? Don't know. Don't know. And these two doors both lead to the exact same area, which is the, the sleeping area. Sleeping quarters. So we've got, uh, let me spin around here. We've got bunk beds over here, and Evelyn over there, and we can't open any of these doors. Great move. So now we get to play checkers, and this this is going to take us a while. So what you want to do is just click on a piece and then click on your destination. We are controlling the red pieces, it looks like. Okay, that was a good move. Oh, I thank you. Uh, I thought it was a good move myself. Good choice. Hmm. Okay. Um, um, piece here? I don't know. I'm, I'm not a master at checkers. Okay, it looks like she's got me stuck somewhere. Okay, I'll do this. That way she jumps me and then I can just double jump her. I guess that won't be a double jump though, will it? What is this X doing here? I can't move to that piece, can I? Oh wait, I've got it, got it, okay. Um, It wants me to double jump like this. Ah, thank you game. Double jump and I just got kinged, okay. Come on, come on game. Okay, click on the piece. That is a weird looking king. <laughs> okay. I always enjoy playing checkers with you. It's it's just so much fun. It's more fun than a barrel of monkeys, really. I can hardly wait to find out what Ronnie has been up to. I haven't seen your brother Ron in quite a while. It will be a lot of fun for us all to get together again. No, I don't want to jump that piece. I'm gonna move here. No, I don't want to jump that piece. I wanna leave my piece in the bottom row. Oh. Of the best pilots anywhere. Game is forcing me not, not to do that Ron move. Ron has always been so talented at everything. Okay, that was a good move. Okay. Um. Hmm. What if I move like this? Okay. And what if I move like this? It's nice to relax and play checkers. Yes, it certainly is. I suppose. Okay, that was a good move. Okay, now I can jump this piece in the back. Good choice. This is a great way to spend some time. Great move. Okay, so this is this isn't the most This ex is a great way to spend some time. <laughs> this is a great way to spend some time. This isn't the most exciting thing ever, but uh, I guess time he wrote, I guess it Ronnie works. Ronnie was very excited about carrying mail to the mining camps, and it pays really well. That's great to hear. I know he has his eye on a new plane. I always enjoy playing checkers with you. Okay, and I can okay, move this piece here move. for I've got you now. for another this king. This is a great way to spend some time. I think I've got okay, her stuck. That was a good move. Uh, I've mostly. Got you now. Yeah, I think she's kind of trapped now. I, I think I've done well. Good choice. Hmm. I always enjoy playing checkers with you. Oh, and this. Okay, the game's gonna force me to jump this, this piece. This is a great way to spend some time. Okay, so this should be finished soon. You don't actually have to win the game of checkers in order to finish finish this. Uh, yeah. This 
this is a great way to spend some time. Oh no. Oh, how come their captain gets such a cooler hat than my Good captain? Choice. That's just not fair. I've got you now. Yeah, you think you've got me now, but you don't. Okay, that was a good move. It's nice to relax and play checkers. This is a great way to spend some time. <laughs> they keep repeating themselves. This is a great way to spend some time. That was a great move. It is a bit worrying that we haven't heard anything from him, but I know he has been really busy. No need to worry. I'm sure Ron has everything under control. Still... It will be good to be certain. I don't know, this sounds like a mystery you guys are setting up. Okay, that was a good move. That was a good game. Okay, yes, game I over. I always look forward to our checker games. I am feeling quite recovered now. Yes, it looks like you have your color back. I had better go back on deck and show Dad your handiwork. That way, he won't be worried about my cut. This is a great way to spend some time. I'll get us some drinks and be right up. Oh, I like, like, we don't even get to finish the game. Obviously, I won, but, I, I, I mean, I'm the greatest. Of course I won. But now Evelyn's gone, and the final puzzle of the challenge is to make drinks. Let's see if I can remember how to do it, because if I recall correctly, we're not actually going to use any of this lemonade or these other drinks in the freezer. No. No, that would, that would, that would make sense. Uh, what we have to do is get glasses... And we have to do this in a very specific order. I think we put down this. Oh yeah, if you do something in the wrong order, um, this is what happens. I had better get those drinks first. I know they are waiting for drinks. I had better get those. Yeah, so you, you can't just use the you can't just use the cups on the sink to get water. Even though I think that's what we're gonna do. Perfect. Just what we need. James, hold tight. We're going to hit. No! Oh, no! Okay, so that is it. That is the end of chapter number one. Chapter number two, what happened? Is the boat about to crash? How are we going to get drinks when none of those glasses were filled with water? Stay tuned for chapter number two, which is coming June 12th. Oh, um, I need to check with my... Katie, are we going on vacation? We're going to be on vacation on the 12th, right? Okay, wife says I'm gonna be on vacation then, so um, you might have to wait an extra week for me to, to play uh, chapter number two. Sorry about that, everybody. Our, is our vacation, are we going on a yacht to New Zealand and no? No, wife says no. That's, that's just for Jane Darcy, not us. Okay, uh, see you in a couple weeks, everybody.